Well, March Madness is in full swing for CACB's men's and women's basketball teams. Both reached the WAC semifinals for the third consecutive year. 23 ABC's sports director Stephen Hicks has the exciting highlights from Vegas. Well, last night I said that this CSUB WAC tournament run would be a work trip, but tonight against Seattle U, both their offense and defense were clicking, so who's to say that on a work trip you can't have a little fun? Well, the men in search of their first finals appearance, but Seattle U exploded out of the gates thanks to Jack Crook, their center, the Red Hawks bench going crazy. Coach Barnes can't believe it, and runners fans on their feet until the first CSUB basket. That would have to come three minutes into it when Kevin Mays comes in off the bench, and then tied at 11, Jalen Arrington gives the runners their first lead of the game with the three ball. CSUB rocking out at that point. And then how about a little more from Arrington? Another poster dunk, this time over at Seattle Center. CSUB shot was falling all night. Damian Durham, the corner three. The runners finished 11 of 18 beyond the arc. Diedrich Basil with the fake and then the three that drops and CSUB in command. And the icing on the cake would come with seven minutes to go. Jalen Arrington with another dunk. The runners win easy and remain focused on knocking off the WAC Giants. Guys in the locker room were talking and we were kind of praying that they won because we, we owe it to ourselves. Like I feel like um, I gave a lot in the two the past two games we played, but I felt like I had more than I should have gave. Uh, tomorrow I can't wait for 8 o'clock. The last 40 minutes and hopefully we accomplish our our goal and our dream of making it to the NCAA tournament. So CSUB makes history tomorrow. They will play in their first ever Western Athletic Conference championship game. And to make a little more history, the team that they're playing, the number one seeded New Mexico State Aggies, it's a team that they have never beaten before. We will have full coverage starting tomorrow. And until then, at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas, Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC Sports.